Hey folks, welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. Last time we set up our frame material assemblers, and I made a mistake. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I was thinking each of these had 25, and we needed 150, so I set up six copies of, of this kind of factory here. Of course, because I have double lines of 25, each one has 50, so I only need three of them. So that kind of fills out quite nicely. We're no longer going over to the bright side of the planet. All that's good. These are all set up and ready to go. Uh, what I don't have right now is high purity silicon. So upon reflection, I have decided that we should be spraying things as they're put into the system and not as they're being put into assemblers. So we're actually going to make one more change here. Uh, when the high purity silicon comes out, it should already be uh, set up with set up with uh, proliferator. So we're going to change this to assume that the proliferator has already been provided. And instead, we're going to proliferate our output, our frame material for later use. So we're going to change this around a little bit. Let's see, we want you there and there, if we can make that happen. There we go, that's good. So our outputs will be proliferated. Uh, apparently I'm out of belts. Let's get a couple stacks of those going. Let's see, I can get rid of you and all right, there we go. So we're going to continue this belt over to here or not there we go okay so we just got to do that in two more factories and then we'll get into our silicon or our high purity silicon production so uh you move like this and like that we delete you and we extend you okay all set a little bit of a weird bend there but i'm not gonna all overlook it Come on down here, do the same thing one more time. We're all set. Where are you landing? Distracticus Prime? Okay, hopefully that's one of the ones that's already handled. I guess we'll see if things start breaking. Let's delete this, extend this. Okay, and that's all set. Okay, so <clears throat> now we need to figure out exactly how much high purity silicon we need. So. Uh, we'll need two things for that. First, we'll need a smelter to double check the numbers there. So, uh, we're gonna probably proliferate the ore. So, normally we get 30 recipes per minute. Uh, so, we'd be getting 30. We could proliferate the ore and get 37.5. How many do we actually need? So, we have 150 assemblers here. And they require... Let's see. 150 assemblers doing 10 recipes per minute. We need 1,500 high purity silicon per minute. Is that right? Let's double check the math. We're going to do 150 times 10 recipes per minute is 1,500. Each recipe requires one high purity silicon. So we need 1,500 high purity silicon. If we Can we evenly divide that by 37.5? 1,500 divided by... 37.5 gets you exactly 40 smelters. So that seems pretty good. We'll get 40 smelters going. And uh, we'll make high purity silicon. Now, fortunately, we already have some miners set up over here. Uh, we will need... So I just said the number. We need 1,500... Uh, yeah, 1,500 high purity silicon. It's going to require 3,000... Uh, 3,000 per minute I think at I think I don't need to buff these if I use both of these together this is covering 17 veins this is covering 16 I think that should be enough so the only question is where do we build this and it looks like the answer is either here or here what are you oh you're you're ingot production aren't you yeah you're titanium why don't we come down to this area? It's nice and empty. It's got room. We only need 40 smelters. Let's see what we can make happen down here. What are you? I don't have my veins on. You're stone. Hello, stone. Okay. 
So 40 smelters. Let's let's try to use all of this area. So we'll build left to right so we can kind of set up around the stone veins here and not bother them. Let's put down a planetary to start. Uh, that seems fine. Uh, we will need two lines because we need 3,000 ore per minute and one line can only hold 1,800. So let's say you're going to demand silicon ore. Uh, those miners should be... No, that's right. They don't actually have drones. We have to send them out. Okay, so once you're powered on, you'll start doing that. Uh, we'll do two lines, I think. So we'll go like this. And we'll come around and come out like this. I might adjust these. Let's see. And then I want two lines taking the final product in. Uh, we're gonna smelt. We're gonna we're gonna proliferate the ore and the smelted ingots. So let's have two lines coming in, like that. And then I can fit a smelter in here, right? Uh, that might actually be too much space. No, that's exactly enough. Perfect. Okay. So We'll set up the initial lines, we'll set up the proliferator, and then we'll get to work. So, we want to proliferate the ore on its way out. And we want to proliferate the ingots on their way in. Well, that looks good. Let's go ahead and set up a proliferator requester. Like so. Connect that up. Okay, there's all our proliferation done. We can start making smelters. So, I think what we do here is we output to... We, we do, we, we're we going to build on both sides. So, we're going to have one more set of input lines that loop around and go in. So, let's get some smelters down. So we'll have an outside line for output that goes down here and then loops around the inside. And then we only need 10 because we need 40 total, right? So, <clears throat> uh, this is our ore line. Let's do ore in and ore in. Uh, this is our second ore line, ore in and ore in. Then we have outputs. And outputs here. Okay, this is looking good. We're starting to get something here. We're gonna need 10 of these. So, one, two, three, four, five. This, we need about double what we have here. Okay. So, you're an ore line. You come out to like here, maybe. You're an ore line. You come out to here. And then we do output lines one, uh, two. Three and four. So oddly enough, like I'm finding I'm not using like I am using some of my blueprints, but I'm not I'm not using a lot of blueprints for big builds like this. I end up That's right, these are going the other way. I end up just using the copy paste ability, which frankly is pretty dang handy. Okay, I think that's right. So, we want 10 each of you. Two, three, four, whoop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Hang on. Let's do it this way. Let's put the recipe in. You're going to be making high purity silicon. Let's make sure we get that on all four of our sources. Is there anything else I need to do before I copy and paste? Uh, we will need power, but I think that's separate. So, okay. Let's do our copying now. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Copy you. Down like that. Copy you. And we copy you. Looks good. 
So there's our 40 smelters. Hook up the output lines. So this was ore. And then output comes around and into here. And it comes around and into here. So like this would be, this actually, this thing by itself would be a pretty decent blueprint. So if I need another 40 smelters, this is a pretty good blueprint. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll copy this and we'll call this like ingots 40 or something. Yeah, I think that, I think this one's worth copying. I think this is reusable. Now it, it also depends on which band of the equator we're in. Whether it's actually reusable, but we'll we'll call this, uh, I guess, uh, 40, 40 ingot smelters, and we'll call it like uh, we'll put it in parentheses silicon, and I'll just give it the that, and we'll put it in the ingots book. Because I think that is reusable. It's entirely self-contained, right? It calls in the stuff it needs. And then it smelts everything and feeds it back in. So, let's save that blueprint. Yeah, I think that's good. That might be reusable. Okay, so let's figure out what we still have to do here. Uh, we are going to... I forgot to do this part. So we're going to supply ingots out. Call in ore. And I think that's it. We just need power now. Let's get some power down. I'm going to have to go home and get more of these satellite substations soon. Can I fit you in somewhere so that you cover everything? That covers a lot. Okay. And then we just need one little thing here. Okay, so you should be calling in ore. Now, why are you calling in silicon ore? That seems strange. Oh, I don't have drones for you. That's why. Okay. Now you're going to get the ore. Okay. So let's see this all turn on and work. Uh, as soon as we have ingot production, it should go over and we should start making frame material. Look, they're going to both of these, uh, both of these miners. Let's check the value here. This has to be at least 2,000 per minute. Well... I think it will be once we drain it dry and it catches up. Let's see. If it gets to 2,000... I think it would be fine. It's like not at full... It's not at max right now because it's, it's still full. Okay. Let's go back over and watch the ingots get made. Make sure everything's working there. Let's see. I have to do my outputs. That's something I missed. Okay. So output some ore. You output some ore. In that case, I should probably update the... I should probably update the blueprint here. So this was ingots. New blueprint 019. Let's update that. We will include the power towers. And the configuration changes we've made. There we go. Save blueprint. Okay. Quit. So, everybody appears to be making delicious, delicious silicon ingots for me. It's flowing into the system. And it should be flowing over to our friendly neighborhood frame material producers. Yes! Yes! It's up and running. Alright, so they've hit this one first. That is running, as far as I can tell. We'll have to let it run for a while and then look for any machines that are stopped due to, like, missing sorters or other problems. But it looks like all of them are producing. So we're building up a stockpile of frame material. Excellent. Excellent! Okay. So can we meet demand here? I think this we lower down a little bit. I think 3,000 just so that we start to balance out the inputs. Yeah, none is coming in here. Oh, did I not? Yeah, this has to be set to demand, demand, demand. I don't know if we want these this high. 
All right, let's set you to demand, demand, demand. And I guess we'll set just the silicon to 3,000. Let's check the other tower. Can't remember if I fixed that. I did, but it's just not able to catch up quite yet. It hasn't met the, the stockpile. So we should be producing enough that this gets filled up and then they start distributing to the other ones. It shouldn't be consuming, like eventually it should back up and be like, I only need a few per minute. But we are producing frame material. Okay, so with that, we have solar sails, we have frame material. What's next? If we're going to produce these small carrier rockets, the next thing we need... Oh no, before we get to carrier rockets, we have to make the Dyson Sphere component. So this is going to require processors. All the processors in our network, like on other planets, are currently like spoken for. They're in use in a lot of stuff back at the mall. So I think we're going to have to produce the processors here locally. And we need equal amounts to what we've built of solar sails and frame material. Now, in terms of solar sails, hold on, what's happening here? Clement Star 1 could be the farm coming back, maybe. Or maybe they're trying to connect to a hole that's shielded and they just give up and leave away, fly away. That's happened a bunch of times. They don't seem to be going back to the farm. So we'll have to see if soil piles start appearing or damage. We might have to fly off and deal with that. Anyway, back to what I was saying. We produced 2,160 solar sails per minute. A quarter of those are being fired into the swarm. So that leaves uh, 1080 plus 540 is 1620. 1620. We have 1620 solar sails per minute to work with. This is just about filled up. So let's see if some of the others are starting. They should be. Uh, min load of drones. Why aren't you going to get... Ah, that's why. Now you can go to get some. Okay. Let's fix that here. And at the other one. Yeah, you have drones. Okay. You're starting to you're starting to spin up. Very nice. You're starting to spin up as well. Let's let's make sure our our assumptions are correct. So uh, these two are proliferated. Why aren't you outputting this? It's in transit. It hasn't actually arrived yet. So those are all proliferated and then when they go in here they're proliferated or they would be there we go yes okay so the the silicon yes everything's proliferated except the titanium which is coming from another planet all right so this is up and running that looks good okay and over here do we have any problems over here we have a few guys who are saying, what, lack of material on silicon. Okay. I feel like we produced enough, but I might be wrong. 40 times 45 is 1,800 per minute. Is that right? Hold on. Let's go check. Did I get something wrong on this math? Oh, why have they died here? Oh no, they haven't. They're still they're still producing. Yeah. So you should be producing right, 37.5, not 45. So 37.5 times 40 is 1500. I think we did the math right. I think that's how many we need over there. So it may just be a matter of balancing like input with building up the It's like it's they they have they have we have exactly as much as it needs. So, at some point, it has to balance out where, like, this one has too much, so more goes over there, and then they kind of even out at a small, small stockpile. Like, I think even... What is the maximum amount they can carry? A hundred? I think we even lower this to, like, a thousand, because realistically... This should be going out as soon as it arrives. It shouldn't it shouldn't be stockpiling at all. So let's set the yeah, let's set the silicon to a thousand. And then maybe we can balance out here. Now that we've built up a little bit of a stockpile in some of these. 
We might want to throw like one or two extra in. I feel like we shouldn't have to, but maybe we do. Maybe they'll balance now because I let those other two build up and then limited them. We'll see. I think over time it'll, it'll even out. All right, well, let's look at our statistics panel for frame material. Uh, theoretical max is 1875. So we actually have more than we can use because we only have 1,620 solar sails and we need, therefore, 1,620 frame material. And so the next thing on our, the next thing on our journey here towards producing Dyson Sphere components is we need 1,620 processors. So, let me... Let me pause the video here and I'll come back after I put this into the calculator and we have a flow diagram to work with to see what we need to do. All right. So, uh, the good news is it's simple. The bad news is it's pretty big. So, we need to make more high purity silicon, 4,000 and change per minute. Uh, so, we're going to need a lot more of that blueprint I just made. Um, if we look at this, this is 110. Point six. So we built that, we built uh, 40 smelters. We need four more of those and the silicon to feed it. <laughs> Everything's proliferated, right? Yeah. Okay. So we need 4,000 high purity silicon. We need 41.5, so 42 uh, copper smelters. We need 28 iron smelters, and then we need to make. 70 manufacturers for microcrystalline components and uh, 18 manufacturers for circuit boards, all feeding into an astonishing 65, 65 uh, manufacturers or assemblers for processors. That is pretty huge. So I think we're probably going to go off planet to smelt the ingots and maybe even make the circuit boards and microcrystalline components. And then we'll ship them in and make the processors here. So iron, silicon, and copper is what we need. Let's take a look at the other planets in the system and see what we can do. One other thing we're going to need is to figure out how to power all that on another planet. But we'll come to that in a minute. All right. So if we zoom out, better Dyson 1 might be a good candidate if it has the materials we need. Because it has lots of free power. So we've got iron and copper. We've got a little bit of silicon. If we go there and do this, we're probably using the majority of the silicon there for this build. Um, other planets include... That's the ice giant, but it should have a satellite. Better Dyson 4 has about the same amount of silicon and not very much iron. Okay. Better Dyson 5 has... A ton of silicon. So maybe we go there and we build we just build some silicon smelters. And we just provide enough power for that. And then we go down to here and make the iron and the copper. I think that's a plan. Yeah. Let's go to Better Dyson 5 and set up a bunch of silicon production. Let's do that. So this is still. This is now failing on this. Again, like, I think... I think I really need to limit these. They really just need enough to feed the current minute of production. I think. I think going down to a thousand is about right. But we might have to see. Where's all my... Oh, there's no carbon nanotubes because all the deuterium is backed up. So until we deal with the deuterium, we are going to have problems there. Looks like there's a little bit coming in. But regardless, let's go, let's go, let's go out to, uh, let's go out to Better Dyson 5. I think it was 5. And set up more silicon production. It should be pretty fast because the only thing we're really going to have to do is the miners and then the power. Figure out power. Because we already have that awesome blueprint. Uh, so I think we just go and we come back and do other stuff later All right, so better Dyson 5 Is almost six astronomical units away. 
So why don't we warp there? Not bad, not bad. Okay, so first of all, looks like we already have a little bit of power here. Uh, where's the North Pole? Where's my input? I already figured some of this out. So here's the North Pole. Uh, we are calling in uh, Deuteron fuel rods, and there is kind of an excess of those back home. Uh, we're producing way more than we can use because we're importing all that energy through the energy exchanger, so none of the fusion plants there are burning anything. So we can actually call in quite a bit of, of power here. Yeah, look at this. So we're going to build big, but we're also going to uh, have plenty of power available. All right. So where do I want to set up? Where's a lot of empty space? Here. Here's a bunch of empty space. Um, I determined that, looking at the flow diagram, I need 110.6 uh, silicon smelters. So are you calling in, yeah, you're calling in uh, proliferator as well. Okay, so let's go down to that nice, big, fat, empty space right, right down here and see if we can make that blueprint work at that latitude. And then as soon as we have these down, we'll extend the power grid, we'll set up the silicon miners, we'll be good to go. So let's see. Um, if I go into ingots and pull out ingot smelters. Oh, I can't be in this view to do it. Okay. Uh, it doesn't like this latitude. It'll work up there. Uh, coordinate scale of sub areas are different from that during creation. So it'll go right on the line, but it won't go up and it won't go down. I could also, I think, fit it here. And there is a nice long space here. All right, uh, which makes more sense? There's a nice big space here. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to build, we want 110 and change. This is going to produce uh, 40. So four of these makes 120. Uh, it's not letting me shift copy it. All right, well, let's do one, two, three, and four that work? It did. Okay. And then, so this is going to output 120 smelters, and we actually only need 111. So, uh, 120 minus 111. That's right, right? 40 times. No, I did 160. Son of a bee sting. Okay, hold on. I only need three of these. So we're going to get entirely rid of the fourth one. Because that was a mistake. Okay. 40 times 3 is 120. We need 111. So we need to delete 9. Uh, so basically, we can just delete... These nine. Okay. Looks like I'm running a little bit low on belts, and I didn't... Yeah, I have some. Okay, let's put 900 in here for now. Uh, we don't need you. Okay. That should be exactly as many smelters as we need. So we'll let the, we'll let the blueprint build. Then we'll do power. Or we already did power. Okay. So we just need to do miners now, right? And as soon as we do as soon as we do miners, we're done. And we have all the smelting we need? That's convenient. I'm glad I made this blueprint. I'll tell you that. Uh, insufficient. What am I out of here? I need more. Probably need more 
drones. I probably need more vessels. I probably need more sorters. Yeah, we're running real low on pile sorters. Okay, we'll have to go back to the other planet to get some more. But these are all powered up. So, the only question is ore. Now, if I recall correct correctly, uh, we're doing 30 recipes, so we need 60 ore per smelter. And 60 times 40... ...is 2,400. And we got three of them. So, 2,400 times 3. We need 7,200 ore per minute. Uh, I'll also be interested to see... Okay, we're getting... We're getting Proliferator. It's like I'm missing... I was missing sorters over here. Okay. So, we need miners to produce 7,200... Uh, ...silicon ore per minute. Let's go take a look at how we're going to do that. So there's silicon right there. There's a bunch down here as well. Let's come up here first. See what we can make happen. Yeah, we've got some we got some stuff. We got some stuff. So, okay, advanced miners. Resources required. What? How many can you fit in here? Not quite all of them. That's 1890. Okay. So I'm going to keep track here. I'm just going to do math. What did I say? 7200 minus 1890. We can scale that up a little bit if we increase the mining speed. I'm not sure we want to do that. Uh, let's get you powered on and get things kicked off. So there's 1890. Maybe we go up just a little bit. Like if we go up to like 150, that gets me 2835. That's pretty good. 2835 per minute. All right, let's let's change our math. So 7200 minus 2835. Okay, we need another 4365. Let's go set up another mining machine. You look friendly. Okay, that's 2160. Let's get you up to 150. So that's 3240. Oh, damn it. I hit clear on the calculator. I gotta go back and figure out what this number is again. What are you? 2835? We need another 1125. So one more mining machine should be fine. Especially, like, at 150, it should be absolutely fine. Uh, let's find out where the next silicon is. Right over there. There we go. Okay, this should produce an absolutely astonishing amount of ingots, certainly enough for our processor build. Uh, I, I have a suspicion we'll be coming back here to get more anyway, someday. Uh, let's see how much of you I can fit in. Uh, not quite all of you. Almost get all of you. Alright, there we go. Let's put you to 150 as well. Get you connected up. Okay, that should produce the staggering amount of ingots we need. And you know what? On reflection, I'm actually going to put these nine back. I feel like having a little extra is fine. Now what's happening? You're already full? No, you didn't have drones. Okay. You have drones. You're proliferating your output. That's good. Now you have drones. Okay. Yeah, we have extra ore. I think I'm going to put these back. Just so we have a little bit extra uh, ingot capacity available. So let's see. Uh, I shouldn't have deleted them, but I did. But it should be fine to put them back.
Okay, we are running into power problems now, so we're going to need to build more fusion plants. That's fine, we can do that. Like I said, we're not burning very much of anything. Uh, so each of you produces 18.7 megawatts. We're currently just below sufficiency. Let's get, I guess two more should be fine. I guess that's fine. We'll eat into these stone veins or whatever, but... Let's bring this around and connect you guys up. Okay, two more fusion plants. Throws another 35 uh, megawatts in there. That's good enough. We can even put down one more or two more for the future, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and... Hide a vein here. That seems fine. I'll bring you there. Just copy this. Yeah, a little future capacity. All good. We can burn whatever we need to. There's like a billion Deuteron fuel rods in the system right now. Okay, looks good. So now the other thing we have to do is go down to the South Pole, which is our output pole, and tell it Hey, I'd like you to send uh, a lot of ingots to whoever wants them. Okay, so you're going to provide high purity silicon to whoever wants it. Remote demand. You don't really need warpers because you're only in system. I'm surprised there's no... No, it's remote supply, local demand. That's it. There we go. Okay. All right, there we go. Nice. Okay. So, time to head back. Oh, I just realized I forgot to start my timer. So, we're at 37 minutes-ish. Which means I have... Like, eight minutes left in my ideal episode length, I guess. Alright. Um, we definitely need to go home. Uh, if nothing else, I need to stock up on, on supplies at Better Dyson 2. Uh, and then we go back down to Better Dyson 1 and set up our copper and iron. And get, get that ready to ship out. Is that Better Dyson 2? Yeah, okay. We need to go to you first. To get supplies. I just love watching the, like, swarm fly out to go get stuff. I guess they're full now. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's not a bad screenshot. Okay. Uh, fly to Better Dyson 2, which is shooting crap into the sun. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking, right? Like we're we're looking at it side on right now, but I want to take a I want to take a look at it from uh let's see, better dice in two. Nice. Okay, let's land here. I need to get into my inventory management here. Okay. So let's see. I've got plenty of you guys. Let me get one stack of 200. Um, I'll get one stack of 200 here. I can put you guys away. Don't need this proliferator. Uh, what do we have here? Some conveyor belt Mark III. Yeah, you I need more of. So, let me go over here. Now, you have a bunch of conveyor belt Mark III. Oh. None in transit. Something happened back home? These are supposed to be shipping out. What happened there? All right. I've got enough smelters. Uh, another thing I would need here or want here is uh, pile sorters. I'm out of pile sorters. 
Like I don't need more. Uh, I don't need more of these. I've got a hundred of those, and four hundred more there. I don't need more arc smelters. I'm carrying around, or maybe I do need more arc smelters. Actually, no, I have four hundred in there. Uh, chemical plants I didn't have in logistics, so I'm just carrying a bunch of them along with these fractionators and such. Yeah, I'm rail injectors. I've got some ray receivers. Uh, I need more stuff. I need more planetary logistics. I don't really need more interstellar. I mean, I have 11. But I need pile sorters and belts. Which reminds me. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, where's this happening? Clement Star 1. Oh, okay. So we got a couple things we need to do. Um, I need pile sorter mark 3. No, I need pile sorters here. Demand remotely. I feel like 3,000 should be enough. Um, whatever, we'll put these in. We'll power this on. And then I'm going to have to go to Clement Star, and I'm going to have to go home. And send send some of this stuff out here. i got to find out what's going on with my belts. Uh, I'm not here. Something happened at Clement Star. It looks like a, a raid was fought off, but I'm not sure where. Because I would think... Where is that pointing to? Clement Star. Yeah, we've got some, some damaged conveyor belts. That's weird. All right, so I think, I think we go to Clement Star first, and then we go home and set up belts and sorters, get that get that flowing, because we need it here, and for whatever reason. This we don't have set up at home. I don't know why the belts aren't coming. They should be. But we need more of that if we're going to continue building, and we do need to build. We need iron ingots, we need copper, we need circuit boards, and we need uh, microcrystalline components, all of which will be used, of course, to make the processors to make, finally, eventually, the Dyson Sphere components, and then we have to then work on quantum chips and Deuteron rods to make small rocket carriers. All right, we got problems. So, looks like we're headed to Clement Star next. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we investigate what the Hive is up to. Back at the namesake star of our favorite guru, Justin Clements. Take care, guys. Bye.